शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ इलेवन ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन ऑलवेज मैंटेन द इंटॉक्सिकेशन डेट गॉड इज टीचिंग यू दिस स्टूडेंट लाइफ ऑफ योर्स इज द बेस्ट You have the omens of Jupiter over you. Question: Which children receive a lot of love from everyone? Answer: Those who become instruments to benefit many. Those who benefit others would be told, "You are my mother, so check yourself to see to how many you bring benefit." to how many souls do you give the father's message the father is the messenger you children also have to give the father's message tell everyone that they have two fathers remember the unlimited father and the inheritance song you are the ocean of love we thirst for one drop om shanti The spiritual father sits here and explains to you children every day. Children, sit here in soul consciousness. It should not be that your intellects continue to wander outside. You have to remember the one father alone. He alone is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of love. It is said even one drop of knowledge is enough. the father says sweetest children remember the spiritual father and you will receive your inheritance you will then go to the land of immortality to paradise however you now have to remove the burdens of sin that are on your hearts everything is explained to you children systematically and logically The one who was the highest of all is now doing tapasya down below at the end. Only the one father teaches you the tapasya of raj yoga. Hatha yoga is completely different. That is limited and this is unlimited. That is the path of isolation and this is the family path. The father says you were the masters of the world. As were the king and queen, so were the subjects. There were the pure deities of the family path, and they then went on to the path of sin. There are images of that too. They make such dirty images that you would be ashamed even to look at them. Their intellects are completely finished. The praise "You are the ocean of love" belongs to only the one Father. it cannot be a drop of love it refers to this knowledge you recognize the father and come here to claim your inheritance the father only gives you knowledge for salvation you listen to just a little and you receive salvation from here you children have to go to the new world you know that you become the masters of paradise At this time there is the kingdom of Ravan over the whole world. The father has come to give you the kingdom of the world. All of you were the masters of the world. There are pictures of that even now. However, it isn't a matter of hundreds of thousands of years. That is wrong. Only the father is said to be constantly righteous. the whole world becomes righteous through the father it is now unrighteous you children are now claiming your inheritance from the father however it is also fixed in the drama that those who listened to this knowledge and became amazed by listening to it then related it to others but they then also ran away oh maya You are so powerful that you turn them away from the father. Why would she not be powerful since she has ruled this kingdom for half a cycle? 
you now know what ravan is here too some children are sensible and some are senseless you know that you now have the omens of jupiter over you this is why you make effort to go to heaven those who are dying do not make effort to go to heaven people simply say for the sake of saying it that so and so has gone to heaven you know that you are truly making effort to go to heaven that is you are making effort to become the masters of heaven no one else would say that they are going to heaven they would say what are you saying keep quiet people tell you limited things whereas the father tells you unlimited things you children have to make a lot of effort you should have a lot of intoxication whoever made effort in the previous cycle and whoever claimed a status will do so again you have been made to conquer maya many times then you were also defeated by her this drama is predestined therefore you children should be very happy that you are to go to the land of immortality from the land of death student life is the best at this time your life is the best life no human beings know this god himself comes and teaches you this is the best student life it is souls that study and then it is said this one's name is so and so it is a soul that is a teacher it is souls that listen and imbibe it is souls that listen but because they have body consciousness they don't understand in the golden age you would also understand that you a soul have received that body and that you have now reached old age you would quickly have a vision that you now have to shade that old costume and take a new one the example of the buzzing moth brackets bhramari is also about the present time you now know that you are brahmin teachers brackets bram brahmanis according to the drama you buzz this knowledge to whoever comes to you then among them too some are weak and they decay sanyasis cannot give this example they would not make others the same as themselves you have an aim and objective this is the story of the true narayan the story of immortality all of those stories are yours only the one father tells you the truth all the rest are false in the world people relate the story of the true narayan and then distribute prasad brackets holy food there is such a vast difference between those limited things and these unlimited things the father is giving you directions you note them down however all the books and scriptures etc will be destroyed none of the old things will remain people think that 40000 years of the iron age still remain and this is why they continue to build huge buildings and spend money will the ocean leave anything alone it will swallow everything up with one tidal wave Bombay didn't exist previously and it will not remain. Look at all the things that have emerged in the last 100 years. Earlier the boys or I used to travel in a four horse carriage. Look what has happened in the last few years. Heaven is very small. Your palaces will be by the river banks. There are now the omens of Jupiter over you children. you children should have the happiness that you are becoming so wealthy when someone goes bankrupt there are there are said to be bad omens over him you are now happy with the omens over you god the father is teaching you would god be teaching anyone you children know that this student life of yours is the best we are becoming narayan from ordinary man we are becoming the masters of the world 
we came here and then became trapped in the kingdom of ravan we will now go to the land of happiness you are brahmins of the confluence age establishment takes place through brahma there wouldn't be just one there would be many you have become god's helpers god is doing the service of establishing heaven and you help him to do that you help him do that those who help him the most will receive a higher status no one can starve to death here when the government people investigated the beggars they found that they had thousands of rupees no one can starve to death here do you belong to the father although a father may be poor he too would not eat anything until his children had something to eat because children are the heirs he has love for them there there is no question of anyone being poor they have plenty of food there is a limited wealth there look at their way of dressing it is so beautiful this is why baba says when you have time go and sit in front of the picture of lakshmi and narayan you can also sit in front of it at night go to sleep while looking at the picture of lakshmi and narayan oh ho baba is making us become like them practice this and see how much you enjoy yourself then wake up in the morning and share your experience everyone should have the pictures of lakshmi and narayan and the ladder you students know who is teaching you there is his picture too everything depends on how you study you will become the masters of heaven but your status depends on how you study baba says make this effort i am a soul not a body i am claiming my inheritance from baba there is no difficulty in this it is very easy for the mothers men go to their businesses etc you can do a lot of service using the picture of this aim and objective you will benefit many and they will love you a lot they would say you are our mother you mothers have become instruments to benefit the world check yourselves to see how many you bring benefit to to how many did you give the father's message the father is the messenger no one else would be called the messenger the father is giving you a message that you then have to give to others remember the unlimited father and the inheritance also remember the cycle of 84 births you are the children of the father the messenger and you give everyone the message tell everyone that they have two fathers the unlimited father gave you the inheritance of happiness and peace we were in the land of happiness and all the rest were in the land of peace we went into liberation in life we now have to return home and we will then become the masters of the world there there is a song baba we receive the sovereignty of the world from you the earth sea and sky are all in our hands at this time we are claiming our unlimited inheritance from the father you are incognito warriors the shiv shakti army this is the sword of knowledge and the arrows of knowledge those people have shown goddesses with physical weapons there are so many temples on the path of devotion there are so many pictures etc this is why the father says you used up all of that wealth on the path of devotion all of them are going to be destroyed all will be drowned you have been given visions of how you will bring diamonds and jewels from the mines because they will all be buried at this time great kings have treasure stores underground all of them will be buried 
then your craftsmen will bring them up again where else would they bring all of that gold from you can see a model scene of heaven in ajmer baba has told you to make a museum similar to that you should create a first class model of heaven you children know that you are now establishing your own kingdom previously you didn't know anything you now continue to learn everything it isn't that i know what is inside each one even some wishes once used to come here they were asked why have you come here they would reply only when i come here can i become free from the vices i am a very sinful soul the father would say okay may you benefit maya is very powerful the father says children you have to conquer those vices because only then will you become conquerors of the world maya is no less you are now making effort and becoming like lakshmi and narayan no one else can have the beauty they have that is natural beauty heaven is established every 5000 years and you then go around the cycle of 84 births you can write this is a university come hospital one is for health and the other is for wealth come and attain health wealth and happiness for 21 births businessmen also put up their own boards they even put up boards outside their homes only those who have this intoxication would write these things explain to anyone who comes you claimed your inheritance from the unlimited father and you then took 84 births and became impure now become pure consider yourselves to be souls remember the father baba also does the same he is the number one effort maker some children write baba storms come this happens i write back all the storms come to me first only when i first become experienced can i then explain to you about them they are maya's business the father now says sweet beloved children you now have the omens of jupiter over you you don't need anyone to show you your horoscope baba tells you everything there you have long life spans krishna is also called yogeshwar yogeshwar taught him yoga and so he became that no human being or sanyasi etc can be called yogeshwar ishwar brackets god is teaching you yoga this is why the names yogeshwar and yogeshwari are given it is at this time that you are also gyaneshwar and gyaneshwari you will then go and become raj rajeshwari brackets princess and princesses acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 make effort while keeping your aim and objective in front of you look at the picture of lakshmi and narayan in front of you and talk to yourself oh ho baba you are making me become like them we now have the omens of jupiter over us second in order to make others the same as yourself continue to buzz knowledge like a buzzing moth become a helper of god and help the father establish heaven blessing may you experience god's love by being detached from body consciousness and seated on a lotus seat a lotus seat is a symbol of the elevated stage of brahmin souls souls who are seated on such a lotus seat automatically remain detached from body consciousness the consciousness of bodies does not attract them while walking and moving around father brahma was constantly aware of either the angelic form or the deity form let you always have such a stage of natural soul consciousness this is known as being detached from any consciousness of your body 
those who remain detached from any consciousness of their bodies in this way are loved by god slogan your specialities and virtues are prabhu prasad brackets holy offering from god to think that they belong to you is to have body consciousness om shanti with avyakt silence experience the double light angelic stays if you love father brahma then become an angel like father brahma let your angelic form of light be constantly visible in front of you this is what i have to become then let your future form also be visible let go of your present form and adopt that form now have such an experience it will then be understood that you are close to perfection om shanti